We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane T-Marts, we'll look after you. It's round 12 NPL action here at Jack Edwards Reserve. South Melbourne travel to take on the Oakley Cannons. And it's first versus second, potentially a huge night, John, with the chance to open up a 12-point gap at the top. Yeah, if uh, South win here tonight, uh, they'll open up a 12-point lead at the top of the NPL ladder. Having said that, if Oakley defeats South tonight, that will, they will reduce that lead that South has to only six points. So it's certainly a big game tonight for both teams. Epifano using that pace that he loves to use and he's done nicely, he gets around his man Epifano looking for Big Luyic in the middle, cleared away Jawadi chases, leaves it for Tyson Holmes who whips in the shot good height in the end from Tyson Holmes but couldn't quite get it on target attacking intent shown by the away side early as Oakley can only clear it as far as Tyson Holmes who comes steaming in let's fly with a long shot from outside the box but it goes wide of John Honos' goal Luyic using his Strength there, flicks it across towards Epifano, wins the header on. We'll go back to the keeper and he's gone down there, Epifano, as has his opponent. A couple of potential injuries here. Clash of heads looks to be fairly innocuous at the first, but as we can see there, we're down to 10 minutes for a few minutes there while he has that head stitched up. Coming out of the back and, oh no, you can't do that. He's giving it straight to Zorich. Zorich tries to go around Musi here, he will. Whips in the shot, tipped over by Saldaris. That is dangerous business playing against Goran Zoric like that, John. Yeah, and with only 10 men at this stage as well, David, as Epifano is still off, as we see Zoric getting the ball after Malik gives it away. He uh, tries to beat Jason Saldaris at the near post, but the big keeper tips it over for a corner. Good save. That's a uh, nice strength shown there, and lays it back for Kovas. Tries to find some space, goes for the shot. Went for the bar that time, but got around his mark as well, that made some space for that shot. Another opportunity here for the home side Oakley, Andreas Govas, who's uh, been very good for them this season. He uh, cuts in and has a shot from range. Jason Saldaris not too worried though, as it goes over his bar and out for a goal kick. Well, finally, Nick Epifano makes his way back to the pitch. It was the better part of 10 minutes that he was off getting treatment there. Luic keeps that in. Reed. Does nicely there, Reed. Holmes will flick it out wide towards Jawadi. Might try to play in Theodore. Theodore gets on the end of it. Here comes Tyson. Holmes with a shot. Good save. The follow-up's going to be offside. It doesn't matter because Luic couldn't get it sweetly on his right foot. Good shot there from Tyson Holmes and a decent save by Hornos too. Well, South's best chance of the game. A lovely little flick there. Back heel from uh, Matty Theodore at the edge of the box. And the results in shot from Tyson Holmes is... Uh, well saved by John Honos. Milos Luic, luckily he was offside because that was a tame shot in the end. He would have been embarrassed by that. So you see a good save for the goalkeeper. And uh, the ball fall into Milos Luic. You can't put it away, but it doesn't matter because the flag is up for offside. Nikova standing over this one. Strikes it low and he's hit the post. And eventually it's cleared out. Theodore gets it away. Well, that was a cracking free kick, John. Very nearly 1-0. Well, the closest anyone has come to scoring tonight, David. That's a fantastic free kick by Govas from quite a fair way out. He beats Jason Saldaris, but not his right post there as the ball bounces out and it is eventually clear for safety. As we see here, beat him for pace there, Saldaris. Luckily for him and for South, it hits the post and bounces out and it's eventually cleared. Jawadi taking that one quickly out to the left. Norton plays Epifano. He's moved on to this left side. Epifano with the shot. And once again, like Tyson Holmes before, got the height correct, couldn't quite get it on target. Norton goes for a flat low throw there. Jamie Reed turns it in, Luic turns it home, no, it won't stand, the flag has gone up. Well, that looked very, very close, John. Oakley looked quite relieved at the back there. Jeez, there couldn't have been much in that offside call. Didn't look like much, David, as we see a nice little flick by Jamie Reed. Good strength to hold up his marker before playing it on. And to me, Milos Luic looks onside, and he's having his shirt pulled as well from behind. He manages to tuck this one away, but unluckily for South, the flag is raised for offside. That is a very, very, very close marginal call, David, but it goes Oakley's way. Zoric is always dangerous. So quick on the ball. Flicks that one over, flag stays down, turns on the shot there. No, nothing that time for Christodoulou. He put that one well wide in the end. Foster. 
Lost to use is Bosniak. Bosniak. Plays in Goran Zoric. Dangerous. Out comes Saldaris. It's not quite clear. It will be eventually. And Oakley starting with an attacking intent this second half. That's uh, opened up for Christodoulou there. He got it from Bosniak. And now on the far side, Goran Zoric. What can he produce? He's played in Christodoulou. Opens it up. The shot. It's gone in. It's a goal. It's 1 0. It looked to take a deflection on the way through. It was a good strike, too much space given to Oakley at the back and they have a 1-0 lead. South Melbourne have it all to do now, John. Yeah, Oakley opening the scoring early in the second half on uh, 49 minutes, David. As you see, Christodoulou oh, yeah. getting some space from the edge of the box, hits a shot, it takes a big deflection off James Musa and lops, uh, loops over Jason Saldaris and into the back of the net. That's unfortunate because I think Jason Saldaris had this covered. Yeah, it looked like it was going straight to Jason Saldaris and um, unfortunately it's taken a massive deflection off Musa, gone over the goalkeeper and in the back of the net. Need to fight to get this one back. Now Theodore, the shot charged down. Norton tries to tee it up. Musa leaves it for Ricky Jawadi. Left foot Jawadi. Well, that's a disappointing finish in the end there. They need to find a goal from somewhere south. They're streaming forward here, Oakley. Tyson Holmes doesn't get the best of that clearance. And uh, Zorich is worrying the defence, he's played in Foster, he's through on the keeper, he's through on goal, it's 2-0. South Melbourne defence looks stretched there, they've paid the price, Foster is too dangerous when he gets a chance like that, and South Melbourne have a mountain to climb now. Well, it's poor marking, David, because four South players have allowed Goran Zorich, have not put in a challenge on Goran Zorich, and it allows him to put Nate Foster through, his strike partner, and uh, look, it's a very clinical finish, a very good finish, but really Goran Zorich should not have had any time there to put Nate Foster through to score. As we see, a nice finish there, tuck past Jason Sardaris. Again, nothing the goalkeeper can do about that. And it's 2-0 and South have a lot to do now to get back into this match. It's time to roll the dice and Chris Taylor is doing that. On comes the super sub, Lee Monopolis. Epifano makes his way off. Good to hear the fans still very loud behind them there. And Lee Monopolis, can he try something? Monopolis with the shot. Oh no, gloves it. The South fans trying to lift their players. Long ball, they've got to try something. They won't get anywhere with that, unfortunately. And uh, Bosniak, well, he could just about shut it out. He's got a man on the left. He'll go through. Zorich, he has space. Zorich, he goes past Mullet. He scores number three. That's game, set, match for South Melbourne. Goran Zorich celebrating with his Serbian fan club there. And, oh, it's game over here for South, unfortunately. John, just too much space again at the back for Zorich. And it's uh, two former South players that come to Horn South, David. It's Dusan Bosniak, a former South man. He plays it through for Zorich. His first touch is good. His second touch is better. He nutmegs Andrew Mullet there. And his third touch puts the ball into the back of the net for 3-0. Another good finish by Oakley, as we see. Again, Jason Saldaris, not much he can do about that. He's been left exposed once more. And Goran Zoric, he's had a very good night tonight, and he scores Oakley's third for the night. Well, it's desperate times now. Trying anything. On comes Kobe Holt, Boaheen, Slavin Vranasevic getting a run as well. Off comes Jawadi and Tyson Holmes. Vranasevic. What's he got? Uh, Luic will still be able to reach that. Luic, no. He won't be able to get that back to Jamie Reid, and he certainly won't beat Hornos from that angle. Out wide, South Melbourne, they'd love to get a consolation goal here. Boheen, that's good use of pace. Colby Boheen flicks it in, cleared away. The shot, oh, it's hit his own man there. And then Vranasevic, and well, he's hit his own man as well. Sometimes that's just not your night, John Cairo, and that's a perfect example of why. I'm desperate for that consolation prize. I won't get it that way, and uh, Theodore might still be a chance. Vranasevic, good shot, but uh, Hornos found himself in the way. Well, might be time for a third chance here, and that will be a foul against Bradley Norton. And uh, well, he's reaching for a card here. He's already on a yellow. Oh, Bradley Norton will be making his way back into the dressing room. That's disappointing. The stand-in captain for tonight is off, unfortunately for him. That just rubs salt in the wound. The 96th minute of the game here in South Melbourne are down to 10 men. Quick free kick taken. Bosniak probably won't be able to find any space from there. And the uh, clearing kick will see the end of the game. South Melbourne go down 3-0. Their first loss in nine months had to come from somewhere, I suppose. Disappointing, bitterly disappointing, really, that it comes here at Oakley. But uh, for South Melbourne, they just need to move past it and find a way to win again next week. Well, David, as we look at the statistics, Oakley were the better side, especially in the second half, and they were more clinical with their opportunities. Oakley have now reduced the lead at the top to six points, so hopefully South can bounce back next week with another win. 
I've got Tim Marley here with me. And Tim, thanks for your time, mate. I know it's a strange feeling for us. It's been about nine months since we lost the game. So um, what's the uh, mood like in the camp? Uh, it's not a good one. Uh, and we're pretty disappointed in ourselves to come out here. I mean, all the fans came out with a huge crowd. Um, these are the games you want to play well in. Um, I thought we did okay in the first, say, 25 half hour, let him in a bit. And then the second half, I mean, it's how we respond when we go one down. And I don't, I don't think we did the right right thing in responding and keeping our composure and stuff and sort of just let, let it go a bit. But um, these are things you learn from. I mean, they happen in football and it was bound to happen eventually. And see how we bounce back from here. It shows the character of the side. So. But the mood isn't, <laughs> mood isn't the best, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, there's got to be a sense of inevitability that you can't win every single game you ever play. But, uh, I mean, was that something that you think maybe crept into the boys, the back of the boys' minds? No, not really. I mean, we just took it one week at a time. I and mean, we'll hang in to play against Oakley. I'm sure they were, they were up for it as well. I mean, these are the games, like I said, you want to play in. Um, but we don't think about it in camp. We don't talk about it in the change rooms or, or, yeah, let's go 12 straight, 13, 14, or whatever. It's just one week at a time, play as good as you can and, and knock it off the board as you go. Chris Taylor said much yet, mate? Uh, I know he usually waits till uh, training to, to have his, uh, his full word. Has he said anything about the game so far? No, nah, he wouldn't. He doesn't say much after either. So just you can tell he sends his message through training and the drills we do and, and sort of lets us know what we need to work on through that. And he'll pull us boys aside one on one if we need to have a good yarn. But, um, but otherwise, yeah, he speaks through his training drills and we sort of get the gist of what he wants us to do and prepare for the next game. Would have made a difference maybe having Michael Eager out there tonight. He's got great leadership, obviously, in a top of the table clash like this. Surely he would have made a difference. Yeah, he's always um, hard missing Eags. Um, he gives us a lot of that chatter at the back. But I mean, that happens in the world of football. We've got to step up when we don't have our our captain there and I mean we're good enough to play um, play a strong game without him so it just comes to the character of the boys and rising to the occasion and showing your ability so yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely not a good feeling I think uh, everyone's disappointed um, but we just weren't good enough today and that's what it comes down to I don't think we really showed up um, we were second second rate all over the pitch and uh, I guess the result shows that as well yeah, I mean, obviously the first half seemed to be OK and it was the second half where Oakley got one and then ran away with it. But uh, we can't really underestimate them. They're second for a reason. They're a quality side. Yeah, I mean, they are a good good side. Um, I think player for player, you know, it was quite even. Um, but again, I said, we just didn't, didn't turn, up, uh, turn up today and um, definitely showed all over the pitch. We've got a, a good run of home games. We've got six home games in a row, seven including the Cup game, which is coming up soon. So this really is the time now, the next six weeks, where we stamp our authority on the league and really show why we want to win the title. Yeah, I guess all we can do now is, um, you know, have an exchange session, train well together and, and hopefully bounce back in the next game, game and uh, put a good performance out and um, hopefully put another statement out and, you know, get back to winning ways. Because um, obviously no one likes feeling how we're feeling right now, um, getting pumped in the derby. So I think everyone just needs to bounce back and you know be positive for the next game. Was Chris Taylor reasonably upbeat about things? Obviously he'd be disappointed, but um, what's he doing to keep you focused for the next match? Oh, you know we've got to we've got to move on now. You know that the game's done, um, we've lost. Um, so I think everyone's feeling really disappointed, but we've just got to get on with it now and sort of focus on the next one and uh, the task at hand. I mean we're still six points clear, so it's not all all doom and gloom, but. Um, yeah, I think we just need to focus on the next one and just put this one way back in the memory. <laughs>